613 time now for business news and we say good morning to Mike Apple on this hump day for the latest and what's going on good morning Mike hello good morning how good. are you I'm good I'm good uh, better than the UK uh, the inflation <laughs> rate oh my goodness this is yeah. this is uh, just getting out of control so it's, we, we it's, thought it was getting that phenomenal here. yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a global it's a global situation the inflation situation inflation nation as we've been dubbing it uh, for much of this year, uh, the British economy, um, you know, it's got so many forces, both internal and external, working against it right now. And uh, their inflation rate top 10% again here for September, 10.1%, 40-year high. And uh, that's going to be interesting today, Tammy, because uh, British Prime Minister Liz Truss will be in the House of Commons for the first time uh, trying to defend all of the, uh, the chaos that, her own government created a few weeks back with an ill-advised mini budget that went over like a, a ton of bricks uh, led to you know a British pound collapsing to an all-time low before they had to basically reverse course and now there's even talk about bringing Boris Johnson back of all things uh, here we've got uh, the inflation data due in from Stats Canada this morning and it I, I don't I don't actually know if we're, it's gonna feel like it's that much lower on the pro the cost of living as uh, the headline inflation rate for September is expected to cool down to 6.8%. Now, what have we been hearing though lately? Uh, the price for food is uh, going up at uh, you know a four decade high, 10% in the August figures. So we, you've, you've got a little bit of a, a drop for gasoline prices, pulling down the overall inflation rate. Food prices remain elevated. Other uh, things will be at play here. And then uh, next week we get the Bank of Canada. I think it's Tuesday, or maybe it's Wednesday. Tuesday, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's early. Forgive can me. Keep track. Uh, the the uh, they're going to raise interest rates for the sixth time this year, you know, and and that's just the, the the trend that all central banks are doing right now to bring inflation down. It's not really working, at least not yet. No, and so uh, when does it stop, though, in terms of interest rates well, being uh, hiked, considering that inflation is, like you say, relatively speaking, cooling. Look, everybody's expecting a recession, um, and that's and that's when the interest rate uh, increases will likely slow down. I mean, that, that that's the under the the unspoken intention here, if not to cause an outright recession, at least get the economy slow enough that people are saying, "Oh, I'm not going to spend on something that I might have done so earlier." So that brings down the demand, and uh, maybe allows supply to catch up. But then again, when you get back to food prices. You have to eat. You don't have a choice on that one. So that comes back to um, supply out of Ukraine for grains, for example. That's certainly kept things uh, elevated, um, you know, and other other factors. We've heard from the, the grocery stores saying, yeah, we're going to keep prices steady, unchanged, if you will, for the next three months. That doesn't mean they're bringing prices down. That just means they're keeping them where they are, right. which is up from where they were a year ago by and a lot. And uh, gas data will we'll get as well later mm. on this morning when it comes to pricing for September. Uh, but it, the yeah. look ahead looks like maybe things are going in the right direction with the gas prices and, dipping. And, and, yeah, and, and again, that's you know trying to trying to predict gas is is uh, trying to pick lottery numbers. Um, <laughs> it, it it seems to be coming down again a little bit. Came down three cents uh, overnight to a dollar sixty one or thereabouts. Um, it's still uh, you know not quite as inexpensive as where we saw it a couple of months back. But nevertheless, uh, the U.S. is going to tap into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve again to try to bring oil prices down uh, because they want to offset what OPEC did, where they cut production. And this is all politics at this point because, you know, we're less than a month away from the U.S. midterms. And uh, uh, the uh, Biden administration is doing anything it can to bring gas prices down because it's always the economy, stupid, when it comes to voting and Americans are not too happy with what they're paying at the price of the pumps. Absolutely. Um, and speaking of lottery tickets, did you buy one last night? I just want to double check. Lotto Max? The big draw? No? No. Okay. That's a no. That face says no, so we'll move on. You're going to need that. We're going to need that money for Netflix because uh, it looks like they're doing pretty <laughs> pretty well uh, in terms of quarterly earnings uh, and the report yesterday. But mm -hmm. in the end, we could be seeing some changes with structure and pricing. They, they've kind of tipped back up into a growth mode. Um, Netflix has been seeing so much competition from Apple and Amazon and Disney Plus and all of them. Uh, they've seen quite a slowdown. Um, 
but uh, the latest quarter was pretty good. 2.3 million new subscribers, a lot of them overseas. Uh, what's what's come out from Netflix? Uh, the Gray Man with uh, Ryan Gosling was a big one. Over the top, kind of ridiculous, really, but fun. Uh, the Dahmer series. So they're they're seeing more uh, subscribers, and they're going to crack down on password sharing. I was, you know, that they've been talking about that. But they're going to move forward on that. So if you've got like a household, you can have. Uh, multiple accounts in your house, but you can't give it to your friends. Oh, uh oh. Okay, you have to start okay. paying for that. Oh, and they, okay. they they've said prior prior they know that's happening, and they weren't too worried about it. But now with everything, uh, you know, uh, the cost of everything going up in production, they got to get their money somewhere, and that's where they're going to. And oh, and an ad tiered, ad supported tier, as well. Right. Okay. Mike, yeah. thank you and so much. Stocks up for stocks up fourteen percent this morning, so it's oh, not insignificant. It. All right. Yeah. Yep. No, that's great. All right. Well, thanks very much, Mike. Have a great Wednesday. We'll chat with you tomorrow. Thank you.